In this video, we demonstrate our system for interactive group annotation of objects in large static 3D point clouds. We do this by providing explanations while annotating a 1224 objects dataset. The system automatically selects groups of objects and centers the camera on them. Selected objects are shown in yellow. Our options are to either confirm a predicted label, provide a correct label instead, contract or expand the current group. Before assigning a label, we need to first understand what the selected objects are. To streamline visual analysis of the group and to facilitate the understanding of 3D shapes on a 2D screen, the system automatically fits the group on the screen and performs continuous rotations around it. However, if we need a better look, we can take control over the camera. Having explored the group, we are ready to say that it consists of only short posts. We convey this to the system by either clicking respective button on the label list or using the shortcut key on the keyboard. The system accepts the label, propagates predictions, and suggests the next group. Select group looks fast. However, contextual information, shape, and mutual arrangement of objects allows us to understand that most of these objects are cars, parked along the streets or in parking lots. There may be a few objects that a user may look at more carefully, but it still will not take as much time as labeling all 210 selected objects one by one. We assign the label and move on to the next group. This group is another row of short posts. We provided this label before, and the system offers us the suggested label above the objects and pops it out in the label list. The predicted label is correct, and we confirm it by pressing the spacebar. This is a group of tall posts on the fence around the building, and we provide the respective label. We are suggested another group of cars. The outlier present in the group is easily noticeable. And although the prediction is correct for most of the objects, we cannot confirm the predicted label for all of them. Instead, we ask the system to contract the selection. The system selects a pure subgroup, and we can now confirm the predicted label. The next group extends across the entire area. This makes the view rather crowded. So we turn off the background to decrease the clutter. These objects look like streetlights. We do a fast fly-through to make sure none of them is something else. After that, we provide the label. For this group, we again confirm that these are indeed short posts. Next group mostly contains traffic lights. It also contains an outlier. Unlike before, this one doesn't pop out immediately, and we need to carefully compare objects between each other. We contract and label these two objects as traffic lights. This is yet another row of short posts. At this point, we introduced main elements of the system, meanwhile having annotated over 600 objects. For the purpose of time, we accelerate the playback speed of the rest of the session. Please note that as we move along, groups become smaller. Partly because certain objects don't exist in discernible groups. Partly because we introduce more labels along the way, and the classifier splits some groups into different categories. The upside is that most of objects are already confirmed and the damage from misprediction is greatly limited. The tail of annotation gracefully reduces to a random one by one annotation. However, users of group annotation system at this point are still focused and not as frustrated by having had labeled or confirmed hundreds of similar looking objects before. In summary, we presented an interface that allows for faster annotation of 3D data by intelligently selecting objects in homogeneous groups that are identifiable together. Our interface is minimalistic and yet allows for both easy provision of labels and rapid recovery from bad group suggestions. In our user study, it proved to decrease the time necessary to annotate our test area by a factor of two while maintaining the same level of accuracy. Thank you for your attention.